All right, so it's the final round of the Masters Championship. It's Masters Sunday. We're six over. We're not having a good week. Splooge Mouth is in the lead. But we're gonna try in. Uh, we're gonna try and finish strong, man. We're gonna try finish with an under par round. Get back under five over, and hopefully just fight for a little bit of pride, you know. Um, it's Masters Tuesday right now. It's literally two days until the Masters, boys. I'm so hyped up. The Masters Championship is coming soon. Um, I'm also planning on streaming on Twitch during the Masters. Some are like when there's a break in the Masters or something to talk about it. I might stream some Rory McIlroy PGA or I might stream some Golf Club 2. So make sure to follow me on Twitch. There's a link in the description. Twitch.tv slash the Apex Sound 1. Uh, I'm trying to start off my Twitch career right now. Uh, I'm becoming an affiliate and go from there. So yeah, make sure to follow me on Twitch. For now, let's jump in to Masters round 4 and try and have an over, uh, an over par, an under par round. We just need to be careful on the greens. That's it, man. Because I'm actually playing good tee to green. It's just these damn greens are ridiculous. They're so hard. And about 180 yards. 180 yards, okay. You can use that backstop there above it. Fast yeah, downswing. Like five iron. Fast downswing is gonna catch us there, I think, unless I get a kick right, perhaps. No. We don't get much of a kick at all. But it's going to be a birdie putt. Two putts for a par on the first hole. I'll take that, if it ever stops, that is. Okay, it looks like it's going to stop there and give us a slim chance for a birdie. 23 feet to go. 23 feet to go. Be enough. Be enough. Oh! Just, just I thought that was headed straight for the middle of the cup, but it just this stopped turning at the end. Feet but it's a good effort, and it's a good par to start off the day. We're looking good in our all-white. It's, it's awesome seeing par. Tiger in real life as well. Uh, at the Masters, like, now let's see even just the practice rounds and shit. It's so cool to see, dude. I'm so hyped for Tiger to be back, dude. His first major back now. Serious power it's gonna be awesome. A drive like this. Go on. Get up around that corner. That's a perfect drive, people. It's going to give us a slim chance to get on in two, I would say. Especially the way the wind is into us. Yeah, pretty much no chance, actually. Should be able to get in that bunker there, though. Actually, we might do a little better than that, people. That's it. Go on. If it got over the ridge, we would have been so close to the hole. We honestly would have been so close. You know that little ridge that funnels down to the right side of the green here on the Masters course. Look, there it is, right here to our left. If we had got up there, dude, we would have been crazy close. Damn, that sucks. That sucks big time. It's going to be a tough putt to judge here, guys. Oh, that's not going to stop for a long time. That's going off the green. That is unfortunately going off the green, people. Okay, not quite, but it's not much of a birdie chance, is it? From 18, 18 feet foot away. by we went. God dang it, dude. From such a good second shot, it had a chance to be close, but now... Go on, turn, turn, turn. It's a par. It's just a boring old par. Oh. All right, we start with two pars. If we can just avoid any big numbers, I'd be happy with that. Just shoot under par, like I said. So there you go, Binky, uh, Binky and Jakey, who I think is first in the overall leaderboard, is first in the Master Championship as well. We're in 20th position right now. God damn, 11 is 7 under. And then there's like a big gap. Alright, if we could stay in the top 20, I'd be happy with that, guys. Make sure we stay in the top 20. There's still quite a few people in this. 40. There's 40 people. Nice. 40 people here have completed four rounds already. And there was... 
has some serious so this is a big birdie chance in this one this hole is a birdie hole for sure Daniel Madrid doesn't look to be birdieing it he's on the side can I turn him off by any chance because I don't want to really see the ghost right now I don't want to see the ghost remove player there we go perfect at right, 78 yards wins pretty strong but I don't think it's gonna affect it that much actually I should have gone for a 75 yard pitch why didn't I do this no, that's still pretty good that's still pretty good that gives us a good birdie chance here for our first birdie of the day have about six foot maybe five six foot and this one's for birdie wouldn't have thought it was that long, but it should be... No. Ooh, that was very close. That's going to give us another... That's that's longer than the putt we had before. That's the problem with this game, man. You can never get, like, a short one back on this on this damn game. Feet. It always goes, like, seven foot fucking by. But we roll in the seven footer. And that one drops. Of course we can roll in the one for par, but we can't roll in the one for birdie, for God's sake. The next hole we have before us is a par three. Let's see what happens. Right. Let's see what happens. What the hell? Okay. And here's the three wood. Be good. What? Uh, missing the approach on that. What one. though? How though? What the heck? I am very confused here, sir. Don't spin. Please don't spin. Don't spin. Oh, no. Welp. There's our first bogey of the day. And it happens to be from a stupid short shot, you know? Hmm. Alright. We should be able to get away without getting a double, at least. And this one's about three feet from the cup. Alright. And that one drops for It's a bogey, bogey, but we can get over that. And plus one on the day after that hole. We'll get okay, over the bogey. the fifth hole. What a shot. What a shot. It's perfect. All right, let's get a birdie. Let's let's reverse my um my weakness and follow up a bogey with a birdie. So I always follow up a goddamn bogey or a birdie with a bogey. So let's uh Let's reverse the fortunes here. Come on. The pin. It's a good looking shot, Jeff. And heading for it's the too green. far, isn't it? Oh, it's just a little bit too far. Just that little bit too far. It's not a bad shot, too but club, I think. it's going to be tough to get it in from here, that's for sure. Did not turn enough. It's going to give us a big tester coming back, actually. This is what I mean, dude. You cannot get a short one coming back in this game. About it's literally impossible. Here. Oh my now god. Oh my god. It's nearly back-to-back -back bogeys, ladies and gentlemen, but it just manages to catch enough of the edge to stay in. All right. Everybody stay calm. Stay fucking calm, guys. That's a little left. Oh, this is definitely heading towards the green. It's far too far again. Come on. Too far again. Too much club on that. I went that down a club and everything. How'd that go so far, dude? How'd that go so fucking far? I don't understand. I don't understand the chips in this game. The chipping is the hardest part of this game, in my opinion. Like, the chipping's dumb. From just off the green. Like, the chipping from just off the green is harder than pitching from 50 yards by far. Like, I mean by far. It's way harder. And look at that. Look how that, like, 8-yard chip resulted. Like, that's just dumb. An 8-yard chip is down here now. Fucking hell, man. There's no one here. 
That's going to be a double probably. Oh, it's, at best it's going to be a bogey. Got about 10 feet to go here. Alright, we get the bogey, but already two over for the round, eight over for the championship. And we're slipping ever closer to dropping outside the top 20, dude. The short game in this fucking game just kills me. It's just not good. Like, I'm sorry, but the putting and the chipping is not good in this game. Maybe I'm just terrible at it, maybe that's it, but I just don't like it. I don't like the chipping and the putting in this game. Like, I really like it, tee to green, but the chipping, yeah, probably like, like it's really, and from 155 yards I don't know, like, chipping is just incredibly hard. Maybe I'm just garbage. It looks like a seven iron. Does it now? It's a beautiful shot. It's a beautiful shot. And it's getting better. That should be our first birdie of the day. This one looks about uh, four feet. Oh my god. And Nearly too hard. Hits. That would have been off the green, I think, if it didn't go in. <laughs> but we get our first birdie of the day and get it back to one over for the round. Like I said, I want to go under par for this round. So we got a par five coming up right now. It's not a, not a reachable par five, so... We'll have to just take three good swings at it, and hopefully we can make a birdie. Perfect shot to start off. 280 up the middle. And he's Avoids the bunkers, like and we'll get this up there somewhere. Perfect. That was a nice little chip in. Like a 12 yard as well, a, a 12 yard like chip, is, a 12 yard chip rather, is so much easier than like a 6 yard chip or something like that. Like it's way easier. Alright, we're going to go for the flop, the 25 yard flopper, solely because there's a backstop at the edge of this and I want to use it. And I think I'll do that just delightfully. Perfect, that's going to be back to back birdies. And we're back to level par for the round. This pot is for birdie. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And after that one, let's uh, take a it's look at It's your favorite kind of birdie. Yeah, that that's going to bring him down to even par. Damn right it is. Even par. Come on, baby. Let's get a good round going now. now a good master Sunday, hole. people. I'm just going to grip it and rip it. That wasn't very good, actually. I don't think I caught all of that one either, as, as well as it going right. Still going to be just fine. 300 down the middle. And we should be able to give ourselves a birdie chance. For our third birdie in a row, maybe. And from 150 yards. Okay, 150 yards. But also, I'm never going to reach it with this club, am I? I'm going with the 7 iron on this one. Bring it back, Hill. Bring it back, Hill. Don't let it go up that hill. Bring it back down towards the hole. Go on. Ah. Uh, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, but I would have liked it to go over a little bit more. Stop now. All right. Perfect. Gives us an uphill birdie putt, actually. And this putt is for birdie. It's not that much in it, actually. Where's the turn? What? Oh, it didn't turn at all. Barely turned at all. Now it's going to give us a tester. But we're up to the task and we make the par. It would have been nice to get a third birdie in a row there, but whatever. We'll take the par. We'll take the par. Okay, and the tenth hole. I remember the days I used to be on the first page of the leaderboard in the golf club societies, boys. Pretty much when I played. I don't play anymore, unfortunately. Well, sounds like he's going through the branches here. Should be okay. Yeah, it's gonna be just fine. I'm uh, I'm what, fourteen shots behind the <laughs> the first page of the leaderboard now. That's depressing. No one can beat me in Rory McIlroy right though. That's here, that's fact. One hundred and ninety yards to the pin. One hundred and ninety yards to the pin. The wind is into us. It's downhill. 
It should be just perfect. I, I hooked it though. That's the four iron. Yeah, it's gonna be left. I think it would have been left anyway, even if I hit that straight, because because of the angle we were standing on, ball was above our feet. Club. Oh. Let's get this bad boy up and down. Spin. Spin, you hear. Spin, you hear. It didn't spin at all. Like, when I don't want it to spin, it spins. And when I do want it to spin, Man, it just doesn't spin at all. <laughs> God dang it, that's going to be a bogey. That might be a double. Because oh, that was, that was nice. when you're putting on a hill, it's impossible to stop a ball close to the hole, as I've said multiple times. These Augusta greens are not easy at yeah, all. It's about 10 feet away. Oh, and it just didn't. And it's a double. It's a fucking double. This putt's about a two-footer here. And I give away both of the birdies okay, that I got. And let's uh, have a look at the leaderboard. With a double boat. That's why I don't like this course. Day. It's so easy to do that. Okay, now that was all from the short 11. game. Nothing to do with the long game, really. I missed a green, like, but that's... Obviously, you're going to miss a green in a round. And when you miss a green, you make a double bogey? No. I was just off the green. Like, come on. Oh, that's so annoying. This game is triggering me way too much. This is why I stopped playing I it anyway. Like that. That's why I stopped playing the game, guys, unfortunately. Yeah. Here. You know... That looks like the hybrid. Come in, you little bitch. Get down towards that hole. It's gonna be the slimmest of birdie chances. Imagine having 243 for your second shot on par 4. Setting up for a 38 foot putt. 38 foot putt, Jesus Christ. That's gonna be way past. Oh, that was so, so close. It's about six feet to go here. Alright, yeah, it's a par. That's a, that's a tough par. hole out of the way. But that double has just ruined all my momentum. I had made two birdies. I was getting it back. Okay, and the double out of fucking nowhere on a not so difficult hole just kind of kills it, you know? That's left. And this one's definitely heading towards the green. It's a pretty good shot, actually. It's a pretty damn good shot. That should give us a chance to get back one of the ones we lost with the double bogey. Not easy, though. But we're up to the task. We make the birdie. And we move to one over for the round once again. Come on. I'm getting that under par round, guys. We got this hole as well right here, which is a, a good birdie chance. And, uh... Talk about getting a hold of a drive. This is oh, incredible. Oh no. Oh no. This is not going to be easy from the light rough people. We should still be able to reach this though, no problem. What a shot. Slow down now. Slow down. What a shot, people. And it's given us a brilliant eagle chance. That's the shot Very of the tournament well there. Played, and hitting this par 5 and 2 is going to set up some nice eagle opportunities here. And we're going to take it with open arms when we move under par for the first time today. And after that, with an eagle under. 3 at the par 5, the infamous par 5. And that is absolutely beautiful. We're five over par for the tournament now. And one under for the round. Thank you very much. First under par round. Setting up now on the is what I wanted to do. Hole. That's what we're going to do. I refuse. I refuse to go over par from here. And we've just piped one down the middle of the fairway here. It will end up in the middle of the fairway anyway. Alright. Perfection. Put this one on the green. Two putts. Yeah, Move to the next like one. That. This is a tough hole. 
about 160 yards to That's pin. actually a nice pin position, though. That's a really nice pin position. That might be a little too good to... All right, we have to go for this. It looks like a seven iron. Oh, no. It didn't affect it at all, dude. And now, if you went big there, it's pretty much ruined your chances of getting a and birdie. This or the Maybe bird. even a two, but this is going to be ridiculously hard, guys. Look how fast this is going to go. Oh my god! No, 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 no. I literally nearly putted that off the green. And it comes down and goes in. After an eagle. We've gone birdie, eagle, birdie. Holy shit, dude. What a putt. That's the putt of the year. That has to be the putt of the year in the golf club, too. Holy crap. What a round. What a round, people. Holy shit. The master Sunday is alive and well. <laughs> and we have a par 5 coming up here. Um, which is reachable in 2. Not very reachable, especially not from down here. Because we're going to have to hit a big hook. And we're in the rough, so we're, we'll be laying up. Holy shit, though. That was insane. Holy goodness. That was beautiful. <laughs> I just can't believe that. Oh, I've actually hooked yeah, that into the water. You really had a clean I was trying to just go way right of that, and I've literally ruined the entire round by doing that. And he's ended up Why did I do that? Here, unfortunately. I should have just laid up with an 8 or something. I was just playing to go down there, and I just hooked the shit out of that. It's the most pointless thing I've ever done. I need to get up and down for a par here. Way too far. Not way too far, it gives us a slim chance of a par. I wouldn't say slim, actually. It's a good chance of a par. This one's right around eight feet. I knew I was putting too much brake on that. I knew it! When I hit it, I knew it! And I literally had to do that, didn't I? I was on the best streak of my life, and I had to put it in the water with the layup. I put it in the water with a fucking layup, dude. I wasn't even going for the green. And currently sitting at like that has just completely and ruined the round now. And now setting up completely on ruined the our great team. round. Well, it hasn't completely ruined it, but it's ruined it. It was just stupid of me. I don't know what I was even thinking. It's a good Going shot, though. The six iron. Be the one. Be the club. Oh, come back down, though. I don't think it's going to come towards the hole. Yes, it is. 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 Yet it. <gasps> no. And, uh, and even that would have made up for it. Wind conditions right now. Imagine I made the hole in one there. That would have been my first hole in one in the golf club. What an insane round this has been. I got two birdies in a row. Just missed the putt for the third birdie in the row. Then I double bogey the hole. And then I fucking go birdie, eagle, birdie. And then just make the stupidest mistake ever. This could l really have been a low round. Like if I didn't make just dumb mistakes in it. Please get lucky. That was a horrendous shot. Going right through the, That's the not brush lucky. On this one. That's not lucky. Holy shit, what a crazy round though. <laughs> this round has been insane. That's gonna be right in the middle of the and bunker. <laughs> this is going towards the sand. Dang it. And Dang it. the greatest approach shot there. And now from the bunker. From the bunker. This is indeed from the bunker. That's an awful shot. Oh my god, we hit the pin. <laughs> this round just keeps getting better and better. Dude. If that had went Fantastic in, that would have been insane. I had a very fast downswing there. If that had went yeah, in, that would have been mental. <laughs> Oh, what a round, dude. What a round. The amount of shit that's happened, and we're two under. Oh, this is excellent. This is just entertainment at its finest right here, this round. Video of the year. I, oh, man, if that if I got the hole in one, that would have been the fucking icing on the cake. Like, that would have been the cherry on top, Rob. Like 
God dang it. That would have been so beautiful. Yards to the pin. I think that's a five iron. You think correctly, sir. Make sure to come back down that hill. Make sure to come back down the hill. It's going to go to the right, though, instead of the left. Or it's just going to come straight back. I don't know. It's going to give us a slim chance to finish with a birdie. It would be very, very nice to finish with a birdie, people. What a round, though. Well, Holy shit. <laughs> on, and, uh, there's fair ways still to get to that nice way to finish this, man. Go on, go on. It doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> Finish with the birdie. And our best round of the week by far. Three under. And he could have been much better too. Like, honestly. If I didn't have some fucking stupid mistakes. That round was beautiful. <laughs> that was just a topsy-turvy mental round. I appreciate you guys watching. That's my video of the year so far. <laughs> that was fun, dude. That was a lot of fun. That, that that whole society was a lot of fun. 136 people played in this tournament, so I really appreciate all you guys um, still participating in the society event, even though I know it's been so long since we've done the last one. The Masters Championship, thanks for coming back for it. I appreciate all the support. Make sure to follow me on Twitch, like I said. Um, make sure to follow me on Twitter and join the Discord, because uh, we'll be doing some... Uh, talk about the Masters. I'll be talking about the Masters all week, man. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.